Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm starting backwards. I want to show you how I made this page, but how I planned it using digitals on my computer so that I only had to print one page of printables, no paper wasted. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I did that over on the computer. So I just thought that I would show you really quickly how I plan a printable page like this in Photoshop so that I'm not wasting a whole bunch of ink and a whole bunch of paper printing out printables that I don't need for the layout that I want to work on. So this is a traveler's notebook sized spread. It is uh, eight and a half inches wide by eight and a quarter inches high. So that involves both sides of my spread. So if I go ahead and drag out a guideline here, Here's the two sides of my traveler's notebook. So literally all I do is go through my printables and this is the super awesome and free International Scrapbook Day freebie kit from Nelly and Clem. And I just click through these um, little icons and see if there's any that I might want to use. If there is, I just drag it in. I'm not super worried about sizing anything at the moment. I just want to pull in everything that I think that I might use or might want to use. I'm just going to drag them all onto this um, page. So now I've got everything all laid out here. Um, they're not laid out. What I mean is they're all laid onto my canvas. I can start playing around and resizing some of these elements until I get the kind of basic page design that I want. I also need to pop a photo on here. So I'm going to grab one and pop that on here. So this is the photo that I'm working with. I've already printed that out. So this is the, the kind of right size for my page. And I'm going to start with kind of the bigger elements first. So I've got this page of paper. I've just moved it over. I'm going to cover one half of my notebook spread with the paper. So I've just shifted that over so I can see it. The other thing that I've got is my uh, journaling card. I'm going to resize this because it's obviously a little bit large. So I'm just going to go Command T. I'm going to hold down the shift key and just resize things until they're, you know, sort of basically the size that I want them. And I'm going to start arranging some of these things. As I'm going here, I'm just going to move uh, the layers that I have used down to the bottom so I can see everything else that I still have to work with. And basically, I'm just going to repeat that process until I have everything kind of kind of how I want it. So I'm going to select a layer, I'm going to resize it and move it around um, until I get what I want to see. So this is my basic layout. That's what I want my finished page to look like. And now all I need to do is just move these elements onto an A4 page so that I can go ahead and print them. Uh, all I'm going to do for this is I'm going to select all of the layers except my photo because I don't need that one. I'm, so I'm going to select all of the layers, holding down shift to select them all, and then holding down option to deselect my layer three. I'm going to right click, I want to duplicate those layers, and I'm going to choose a new document. And click OK. And then I can just go ahead and make this into an A4 because that's what I'm printing with. So I'm going to go to image, canvas size. And I'm going to work metric <laughs> because that's what I know what I'm using. So it is 29.7 centimeters long. I'm going to go this way. And that gives me all of my clear space. And then I can start shifting some of these elements. Just so again, I'm just right clicking on them, selecting the element that I can see. And I'm just going to maneuver these until they've all got clear space around them so that I can go ahead and fussy cut them. Now, I, there's only a few elements here, so I'm not worried about um, fussy cutting these particular things. Uh, otherwise, I would have uh, gone ahead and done this in silhouette. You can literally do the exact same thing in silhouette. 
I just happen to be using Photoshop today, but you can use the Silhouette Studio software to do the exact same thing, to lay out your basic layout and then shift everything all apart so you can go ahead and print it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So probably cutting out the printables is the uh, longest part of this physical process. So I'm definitely not gonna make you watch all of that. I am trying some new printer paper, which I really quite like. This is the Canon uh, matte photo paper. I've got a Canon inkjet printer and I love the colors, especially for Nelly's uh, printables. They're always so bright and colorful and I really wanted a crisp, clear um, sort of result for my printables. So that's my new paper that I, I really quite like. Uh, I started out by trimming just those straight edge pieces like the paper and the card. I use my paper trimmer and then there's really no fun way to go about it except, oh look, by the magic of video editing, all of my printables are now cut out. I'm kind of exaggerating. It didn't take that long. I normally do, obviously, with Silhouette, which makes it a whole lot quicker. Um, but today I'm just going old school and cutting with scissors. So I've got all of my little pieces put uh, cut out of the paper and all I've got to do is kind of put them back together. Now I keep that kind of digital layout on my screen of my computer, which is right next to me so I can see what I'm doing. There's no sort of guesswork. I don't have to try to remember. I pretty much I'm just replicating everything that is on the screen. So it's super, super easy to do that. The only thing that I am doing to kind of make this a digital layout a little bit less flat is I'm going to stitch a few of these elements. So I stitched around my journal card. Um, I added a little bit of stitching onto that happy scrapper label. Uh, and I also stitched around the border of the teal label. Uh, and so there's not a whole lot else to do now that I've done that uh, stitching. I roughed up the edge of the journaling card. I can go ahead and adhere this all down permanently onto the notebook. I'm going to leave this page without a title. I don't think it needs a title on here. I guess that kind of the sentiment that's on that wee journaling card if you have to have a title, that's probably what it's going to be, but I'm just going to leave that blank. The only thing that I do want to do, though, is add just the teeniest little bit of journaling. I'm going to do that on the mint label, but I'm just going to type that out on some scrap paper, and then I can adhere that into the white space of the label. Now, the other thing that I didn't uh, bother to do when I was cutting out those printables was I didn't cut out the inside of those scissors. Uh, that would have been decidedly fiddly, and I know from my little digital plan uh, that it was going to be sitting on the white paper of the notebook anyway, so it literally made no difference. I didn't waste my time there. Now, the last kind of handmade thing that I'm doing to this page is adding some fake splatters. I mean, can you call, call it handmade then? They're, they're fake splatters onto this uh, fake digital page uh, using a, just a black gel pen. It's my favorite way to add splatters. There are no mistakes, just a little few random dots. And this layout is all done. I will leave the link for the freebie that I used today down below in the description box. Don't forget to head over to Nellie and Clem's new website and check it out. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave a couple of videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.